So in this video, revealing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make money online for complete beginners and how I literally use this brand new method to literally pull in $346,000 online with no product and no service. More with that after the intro. Hey guys, Mike Vasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. We literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days. Sign up for it in the link below. All right guys, so this is literally the entire process that I used to literally make money online. As you can see, I didn't understand things much when I was first getting started. I wasn't the smartest person in the world. My background was biology, chemistry, math, and science, and all my friends thought I was crazy when it came to like learning how to make money online. But because I followed these specific step by step principles. Not only was I able to go ahead and grab my ukulele and travel around the world and like teach people exactly what I ended up doing on stage, but I built businesses that went from zero to eight grand in 30 days with no product or no service. Another business went from zero to five grand in 30 days to literally 1.6 million that first year. And another business now pulls in anywhere from like 35 to 46 grand a month. And like I said, I'm not telling you this to brag or to impress you, but to impress upon you that if an idiot like me can go ahead and do this, what's stopping you? In fact, we even have a lot of people that were just like you watching these videos and still, even though they thought, oh, I don't have the time, I don't have the money, I don't have the experience, we're still able to go from zero to 30 grand a month in five to eight weeks, like Dina, a stay-at-home mom at 47 years old, and even like Ilio, like as an immigrant, that made 100 grand in two months. So what was they, they able to do? Well, let me actually just break this down in a very proven step-by-step -step system because like I said, most people will fail if they don't follow this, right? Because why? Majority of people fail at everything. Most people fail at like becoming a dentist, a doctor, a lawyer. Most people fail at getting into the NBA or the NFL. Same thing with this. Only really the people that understand the system will really rise to the top. So let's actually break it down. The first step that you need to understand if you want to make money online, and this is probably the most crucial thing that you need to understand, is you need to know why you're doing this. Why is this? Because it's very easy to compare yourself to others when you first get started, right? When you see people, like I made a video like this like earlier and I'm like, like a lot of people were like triggered in the comments were like, oh wow, you just bragged about your, no, I'm not bragging, I'm just showing you that this is like actually real, right? But when people get started, it's, it, it gets very uh, disempowering when they see other people, like they watch videos like, oh wow, this 16 year old made 30 million in like 15 minutes with like X, Y, and Z business model. And earlier on when I would have seen that, I would have been like, well, that would never happen to me. And I would just give up because if my results didn't match what I saw, I would just be like, well, I suck. And I would just give up and quit. And most people end up quitting when things get hard. And you gotta understand with like business, things will eventually get hard. Like if business was all sunshine and rainbows, everyone would be rich, skinny, and happy. But look around, are they? No. Because the thing about this is if you really want it, you need to have this strong reason, this strong urge, this strong compelling to get there, right? Like for example, for me, I didn't care about how many times I failed in my making money online process because when I saw the look in my parents as I felt them get more and more stressed and more and more older every single day working for a job that they did not like, working for a boss that didn't treat them what I knew that they were secretly deep down worth, right? When I saw the stress of how it literally almost ruined their relationship, them fighting about money over and over and over again, I realized that okay, it doesn't matter if like I fail, boo hoo me, I'm just gonna get up and figure it out because the alternative sucks. The alternative of living a life like that with like my loved one would suck. So I need to figure this out now and I can't be the victim of why, why I can't go ahead and do this, right? And you gotta understand when you're getting started, you need to have the strong why and strong reason too. Like why do you wanna make money online? If it's, oh, I just wanna like a nice car and I wanna, you know, do a, you're not gonna become successful because like I said, when you get punched in the face by life and by your online business, and you, you have this decision of, oh, should I go ahead and, and, and continue building my business, which all my friends and family thought I was crazy for, or just go into the comfortable path and just like, oh, fit in, don't stand out, don't stand out, you're gonna get hurt, don't build a business because everyone says building a business will allow you to fail. You need to kind of go against what your mind naturally wants to do, which is give up. And the only way to go ahead and do that is have a strong why, okay? Now the second step that I did effectively to start making money online is I realized that my environment wasn't conducive to me to grow, to make money online. What do I actually mean by that? Well, think about this. If the flower isn't growing, it's not the flower's fault. It's the soil in which it's planted, meaning if you're not getting the results that you want, sometimes all you gotta do is change your environment. What happened to me? Okay, I was like, I wanna learn how to make money online. And my friends were like, you're stupid, just go ahead and get a job. I wanna make money online. My parents were like, no, we're, we paid so much for your education, why? 
And I realized that my environment, no matter how hard I try, it wouldn't allow me to grow. So one of my first steps, which I'm gonna show you, was literally to get to $100 a day profit, because if I could do that, then I could leave. Right, why do you think I'm literally here in Bali right now? Because there's a lot of entrepreneurs here. Right, like look, this 11 year old girl that turned on $30 million, this guy that makes a million dollars from profit, that I interviewed on my podcast, because I'm constantly still moving into new environments where it's conducive for me to grow towards whatever goals that I want. If I wanna get healthy, I'm probably gonna hang out around people that have like six packs. If I wanna make a bunch of money, I'm gonna hang out with people that their worst day is my big goal. Like if my big goal is like say for example, 100 grand a year, I wanna hang out with people where 100 grand a year would make them feel ashamed, okay? Because then it literally pushes you and pulls you. Um, but like I said before, when I, when I had no money and I was stuck at a job that I did not like, I didn't have the opportunity to get up and leave. So how I found opportunity to meet these people is literally in Facebook groups. Like whatever way that you wanna make money online, we're gonna go cover a lot of them. Just literally type it in on, for example, Facebook, and then you'll find groups. And what happens in these groups is people post the results and share their results and how they did it. So what I did when, when someone literally was in a business model that I was in, right, and, and they posted the results, I reached out to them and messaged them on Facebook. I was like, oh, thank you so much. I'm literally trying to pay off my debt. Um, I wanna help my mom and dad. That post really helped me. And I would just like reach out and say thank you. Why? Because I wanted to build a network and a relationship with this person. So when I would go through a hardship, because I couldn't ask my mom and dad or my friends about how to deal with this hardship because they don't have an online business, I could ask this person. So that's what I did. I joined all these like affiliate marketing, uh, e-commerce, drop shipping, eBay, like groups. And I just started reaching out and out of nowhere, like I had like a long list of friends on my like Facebook chat that I could literally ask them questions on. Now the next step, once you actually get those two, is you wanna pick a good winning business model. Now, how do you define a really good winning business model? Well, all you really gotta think about in terms of business is there's four things, okay? You need product, you need product delivery, you need sales, and you need marketing. So a good business model is something that allows you to outsource as much of these as possible. Let's uh, take, a, for example, um, merch or print on demand. Why is print on demand really good? Because number one, you could really sign up for, for free with merch by Amazon.com, right? And then you could sell things on Amazon, okay? And how it works is if you rank for a keyword like this, do you see how all these things pop up, right? These are essentially like search terms where people can like rank for. So if you put this in your title and say you rank on the first page, if someone buys this, how print on demand works is Amazon will literally go ahead and see that, you know, this person made a sale. They'll print this design on their inventory, which they are the ones that spent money on. They'll ship it directly to the customer and they'll literally pay you for free. So no cost. So what did that end up doing? Just like that, Amazon does the sales and marketing because Amazon has built the brand for like decades, okay? The product was already created for you by MerchByAmazon.com and the delivery is done for you by Amazon. So just like that, all that is already done for you in terms of like making money online. Your only thing is learning which keywords and which words you could go ahead and rank for on here, which is another skill that we, for example, teach on my YouTube channel. But you can see that here's a business model where you can literally get your toes wet and have all four of those jobs kind of like done for you. Does that make sense? Like if you're gonna go ahead and get started and you wanna make money in line and you try doing all four of those right off the bat, you are gonna get mediocre in all of these. What I ended up doing is I just focused on one skill and saw which one that I could outsource these the most. This, the exact same thing with eBay, right? Go to eBay, type in the word uh, hard top gazebo with netting black. You'll see this thing right here. What is this thing right here? It is literally this thing right here that's 998 bucks, three have been sold, okay? You can see this exact same thing exists on Walmart for $699. So effectively $300 less. Look at this, they use the exact same picture, red chairs, red chairs, red chairs, red chairs. So essentially what I would do back in the day, this is what got me to $100 a day profit online, okay? is whenever I would make a sale by copying and pasting pictures from Walmart and Amazon onto eBay, I would literally take the money and the shipping details, buy it at like say for example Walmart, ship it directly to the customer and then profit. So even if I just sold this one thing, that would be $150 profit after eBay fees, right? And I realized if I use like for example software like Priceyak, right, it automatically connects these two together so whenever I would make a sale from my eBay store, it would automatically go to Walmart, buy it with my Travel Rewards credit card so I could rack up like the Travel Rewards points for free. It would ship it directly to the customer and I would also, you know, like it would also add the tracking. So what did this end up doing, right? It did the sales and marketing because eBay's doing all the sales and marketing. The product is literally created 
by, for example, Walmart, and the product delivery is created by, you know, Sam Walton's like team and his family's team of Walmart, you know, owners, where they literally do the shipping and they're a multi-billion dollar company. So just like that, all four of those were outsourced and I started making $100 a day profit from that. Where else can you go ahead and do this? You can do the exact same thing here with YouTube. Like, I, like if you see this, I ranked for some of these words, right? And again, this was the only skill that I did that I learned from you know, selling things on Amazon, selling things on eBay. I realized that all of these are kind of like pieces of real estate. So I ended up making a video like this because people were searching for it. And as you can see, you can literally see me on the first page with nearly a million views. So what did I do with this? I literally essentially did the marketing, that was it. The sales, I kind of did as well, but I outsourced it to other people. And the product and product delivery, what I did is I found an expert, somebody who was even better than me in a certain result, and I got them to, for example, sell the product for me, right? And as you can see, when we first started doing it, we literally pulled in zero to, as you can see, $8,000 in 30 days around the time that it ended up happening, right? And then of course we took that to the next level and did it with other products for other keywords as well. And you can see that now we literally pulled in $346,000 with other products. But what did I do? Literally, you know, sales, marketing, product, product delivery. The only thing that I did was outsource the product, outsource the product delivery, outsource the sales because I got somebody else to sell it. And all I focused on was the marketing. And when, you, when it comes to making money online, when you first saw it in the beginning, it's about building your belief and your confidence and then you start slowly building your skill sets, like what I ended up doing. And for me, I naturally fell into marketing and it completely changed my life. But of course, if you want an even faster and easier way to make money online, we literally have people in our community, people like Dina, a stay-at-home mom at age 47 years old, was able to go from zero to 30 grand a month in five to eight weeks with this brand new opportunity. And sign up for this week's free workshop below. Check out this video in this podcast video. See you guys later. Woo!